Hello! So far I have walked you through the twins' paradox and presented the paradox of the spaceships and the paradox of the car and the garage. Before I solve those two paradoxes and while you keep on thinking about them, I want to introduce a fourth paradox for you to think. I'll be solving them real soon. Imagine you have a lock and a key. For simplicity the key will be T-shaped and the lock would be U-shaped. In order for the key to open the lock, the key needs to make it all the way into the lock. The key reaches the end and then the lock is opened. Imagine Doctor Who wants to open the lock to have access to his blue box. In order to do this he needs to put the key into the lock, but some alien race has trimmed his key so that it does not reach the end of it. This alien race is happy because, in addition to the trim, the doctor and the key is running towards the lock, so length contraction makes the key shorter, so he'll never open his blue box. On the other side, the doctor is happy, he knows a lot about relativity. Nice chap Einstein, bow tie wearer, always gets my vote, wicked hair, but he's behind the times, coxie. From his reference frame he's addressed, the key is not contracted, and it is the lock that is contracted in the direction of motion towards the doctor. So, even though the key has been trimmed, because the lock is length contracted, the key will open the box. But we can have a box open and closed at the same time, right? What does really happen here? The paradox is served, and it is for you to find a solution to it. I'll solve it real soon, but meanwhile, may the science be with you.